Hey guys, it's Lindsay here. Welcome to Little Helpful Files. We do mini savings challenges, sinking funds, budgeting, um, just life in general, all through the glory and by the grace of God. And those of you that are brand new, welcome. Please make sure that you leave me a comment below to say hello and subscribe to my channel if you like this type of content. And to all of my regulars on here, thank you all so much. I hope you were able to check out the video I just posted on Monday. Um, it's a little bit different, but I hope that that just brings you guys um, some joy and encouragement in whatever you're going through to know how much God can be in your life and change and move through you all. Um, today, we are actually gonna be doing a little happy mail. I am not doing a mini savings challenge this week because unfortunately we had some unexpected car um, payments come up that we needed to take care of. So there's some things on the car that needs fixed. I do have some in savings, which is going to cover it, praise the Lord, that we have been doing this to have some set aside, um, but we needed a little bit extra, so I'm gonna take what I would have put towards the mini savings challenges for the week and use it for the car. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and check this item out. I'm really excited to show this to you guys. All right, so this is from Izzy Budgets, and she is so sweet. I had asked her to do one of these with the pink and the green. Um, her color is green, and like my colors for my little helpful file shop is pink and green, so I thought it was a perfect match of the two. So I am really excited because this is actually going to be one of the giveaway items for a thousand subscribers so when we hit the goal this is going to be something that one of you lucky winners is going to receive and um i wanted to go ahead and show it to you guys i'm gonna probably show it another time or two i was going to um you know stuff some money in it but i think what i'm gonna do is just wait and then that way the winner just gets to you know enjoy it quicker um i'm not sure when we'll hit a thousand subscribers so obviously i'll wait until that happens and um if it happens before november i will not be shipping any of the giveaways out until november so izzy budgets really really cute um i started following her on instagram but i believe she also has an etsy shop now and i think she has a youtube channel too um, but it came with this pen and it came with these cute stickers and she also included this awesome tracker. So this is how you would track how much um, each envelope is, and that would be how you would save up your $1,000 savings challenge. So I thought that it was really, really cute, um, really fun colors. Like I said, I love the way it's made. There's tons of envelopes in there, so can you just imagine getting this all filled up? What an accomplishment that will be. And then I also wanted to share with you guys today um, this is Romans 5, 3 through 5. We rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Uh, we just actually talked a lot about character um, a week or two ago in my church, and you know, character is something that is super, super important for all of us to keep in mind because that is what truly shows like our heart and who we are and kind of how we act maybe when people aren't even looking um, and in those times of the tribulation or the sufferings to still you know rejoice and to still know that that the Holy Spirit is with us that we can have God's love um, with us all the time that he can pour it into our hearts through the Holy Spirit it's a wonderful reminder especially in those times where you know again those weeks happen where you kind of feel beat down or um you know you feel a little bit of a setback like i was telling my husband with the car because it's going to be like over 800 dollars to fix these parts on the car and we had most of it saved in our sinking fund that's in our account but there's still that feeling of just like defeat and it's hard to not feel that right because it's like you've saved up all this money you don't want to have to then <laughs> part with it even though that is the purpose of it right to have it to be able to pay for it to not have to put it on a credit card um 
the place actually charges an extra 3% if you do have to charge it. So we always prefer to pay in cash if we can because we don't want to pay any extra than we need to. Um, but it's still, he, you know, it's still one of those things where he was like, you know, don't get discouraged. Don't, don't feel defeated because we have the money in order to do this. And it is so true. Like we, you know, need to not let ourselves get discouraged by those things. Um, and like I said, I just had to lift it up to the Lord and thank him for the ability to have that money saved to pay for this, um, to even know how to do cash budgeting in general. And that's something I want to just touch on real quick. Obviously, we all have different ways of doing this. I don't take out all of my cash. I leave some cash in for bills and I do save some in the sinking fund. But um, I am leaning more and more towards trying to pay as much in cash as I can because it helps me to save. It helps me to spend less. Um, there is that like emotional connection between you and the physical money versus swiping a card. So for me, I've noticed that it does help when we can take out an amount and budget for it for the month instead of just trying to track it. Cause before, you know, I usually just use like a tracking sheet. Um, so it's really finding what works best for you, but I absolutely encourage you if you're having trouble with reining any categories in, I highly encourage you to do the cash envelopes and to do um, like cash spending for that if you can because again I think you'll realize that you're much more aware of how much you have to spend for the month month and how much you are spending so it's a lot easier to see if you have like a hundred dollars for the month and you're coming to like the third week and now you've spent that hundred you know you don't have any more and if you do need to spend for that category you might have to pull it from another category right so it's just a little bit more of um thought put into it in a pause and not so much of an impulse and i truly believe it's helped us tremendously so i would love to hear in the comments um what has been the biggest thing that has helped you on your cash budgeting or cash envelope journey and if you are brand new and you have not done the cash budgeting and cash envelopes yet let me know in the comments what is stopping you um i'd love to try to help you know give you that encouragement or maybe give you suggestions on how you could make this work for you because you absolutely can customize it and make this work the best you know of your ability and again when we have those things that come up that we have to pay let us not be discouraged let us not feel defeated let us be super humble and grateful and rejoice in the fact that the Lord is taking care of us, that the Lord has allowed us to prepare, has allowed us to um, be in this position, right? To take on those unexpected things. Um, so just wanted to share that with you guys because like I said, it was a little bit of a setback, a little bit hard. Um, you know, I don't really like skipping my mini saving challenges, but sometimes like you just have to realize what is going to take priority for your week, for the month, for your bills. Um, so we should be back to stuffing the mini savings challenge for next week, hopefully. Um, and hopefully we won't have any more issues with the vehicle for a little while. It is an older car, so it's very expected, you know, but it's just one of those things where when you have to pay it out, man, it's just like, oh, but it's okay. That is why we do this, guys. This is why this community is amazing to be here, to encourage each other, to keep us focused on why we do this. Um, and I just, couldn't say enough wonderful things about the budgeting community. I thank you guys for always being so positive and encouraging and uplifting. And, um, you know, again, like hopefully I can continue to do that for you as well. We all motivate each other and lift each other up in those times of need and make sure that you share my channel so we can get our way to a thousand subscribers so that some lucky winner can get this. Um, I'm probably gonna be doing this with a little bundle and then a second winner. So I'm probably gonna have two winners for the 1,000 subscriber um, goal. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and may God continue to bless you in all that you do. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.